Today we're gonna to take a look at the split volt splitter switch. I'm gonna explain what it does. I'm gonna talk about why you might want to get one if you have an electric vehicle. I'm also gonna explain why it's not for everybody. And then we'll get into how to use it and what equipment you might need if you get one. But first, click that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you don't miss any content here on State of Charge. Before I get into exactly what the split volt does, let me first briefly explain home EV charging. Now, there's two types of charging you can do at home, or two levels, I should say, level one and level two. Level one charging is when you charge your electric vehicle from a regular 120 volt household outlet. Now, you can charge any electric vehicle from a simple household outlet, but it's going to take a long time because a household outlet doesn't deliver that much energy. In fact, you only get somewhere between three and five miles of range for every hour you're plugged into a regular household outlet on your electric vehicle. Now, when you upgrade to level two charging, then you use a 240 volt outlet like these behind me here, which I have in the State of Charge studio. Now, most people don't have one of these already installed in their garage. And when they get an electric vehicle, if they wanna charge on level two, while they probably have a 120 volt outlet, they don't have one of these available for use. So they then have to go out and install one. That can get expensive. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later. But charging from uh, 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 one of these, a uh, level two 240 volt outlet with a charging station like the, the ChargePoint Home Flex uh, to my left or the Tesla uh, wall connector to my right, you can charge your vehicle much faster, all the way up to 45 to 55, 50 miles of range per hour. Compare that to the three to five miles of range per hour on level one, and you can see why people might wanna invest in a level two charger for their car. They'll recharge their EV that much faster. It makes EV ownership much better. Now what the split volt circuit splitter does is it allows you to use a 240 volt outlet for two purposes. Now why would you wanna do that? Well, there's a couple of reasons. The first reason is, well, what if you had two electric vehicles and you don't wanna install two circuits? Because as I said, that can be expensive. You can get, get this unit, plug it into the outlet, and plug two EV chargers in and charge both cars. But that's not really the main reason why this was invented. They made this unit to save EV owners a lot of money and make home charging a lot less painful. Now, many people, when they get their EV, they get it for a lot of reasons, but quite often it's to save money. And uh, electric fuel costs a lot less than gasoline does. But if you have to spend thousands of dollars to install a home charger, a lot of your savings goes out the window. So what the folks at SplitVolt did was they, they came up with this device that allowed electric vehicle owners to utilize an existing 240 volt outlet that's currently being used for something else like an, elect an electric clothes dryer. Many people have their clothes dryers located in their garage or very close to their garage, say the room right off the garage, uh, close enough where you can perhaps use an extension cord and charge your vehicle or directly from the charger. But you need to be relatively close to your garage. You need to have an outlet relatively close to your garage to really take advantage of the split volt. So what you would do is you have an existing electric dryer in your garage. It's chances are it's on a 30 amp circuit, which is what most um, uh, electric clothes dryers are. The outlet would be similar to this. It would be a little bit of a different configuration because I have higher powered outlets here in the garage for our charging stations. But you would plug the split volt into your existing dryer outlet. You then plug the dryer plug into this side of the split volt, which is labeled dryer, and you plug your electric car charger into the side that says EV. And what this does is it intelligently splits the power. Now, it will allow you to dry, use your dryer and have your electric car plugged in, and it will switch back and forth when the dryer's finished, the electric car charges, but it'll never dr draw it won't allow the circuit to draw more than 25 amps. If at any given time, 
it's drawing more than 25 amps, this current protection will, will shut off and it won't overload the circuit. Now, I know a lot of people say, well, that's what your circuit breaker for is in your basement. You're technically, you're correct, but you don't want to be testing that out. You, this adds a, 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 another level of protection. So you're not overdrawing the circuit for, you know, a long period of time. Sometimes the circuit breakers get old. They don't perform as well as they should. Look, safety should always be number one. And the split vault allows an extra level of protection. So you won't overdraw your circuit. If you're using a charger that can deliver more than 24 amps, you'll want to reduce the maximum charge rate inside the vehicle. Most electric vehicles allow you to do this, and in the case of the split volt, you'll want to set the maximum draw to 24 amps. While the split volt has a lot of uses, it's not going to be for every electric car owner. For instance, I don't need one, but very few people have a garage like this. Um, I would imagine somebody that just bought a $200,000 Porsche Taycan probably won't use the split volt because they're going to spend whatever it takes to fit their garage out to have the proper charging. It doesn't matter if they have to spend two, three, four thousand dollars to put a, 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 a charging station in their garage. They have the money for it if they just drop 200K on a car. But many people are budget minded and would rather not spend the money unless they have to. Now, installing an outlet like this in your garage to plug your, your level two charger in um, can be as little as three hundred dollars. OK, if you have a very simple installation, your service panel isn't far away. You have the additional capacity in your service panel to put a dedicated 30, 40, 60 amp circuit. Minimal cost, three, four hundred dollars. You could probably get one of these installed for. But many people costs a lot more money when they try to have one of these installed. And there's a few reasons. Depends on how far your service panel is. If your service panel is down in the basement, 100 feet away, that's a lot of cable to run. And this is thick cable for these uh, 240 volt um, high amperage uh, Atlas circuits. So the installation can easily creep up over $1,000 just for the outlet. But then it gets even more complicated if you need to have a service upgrade. Now, why would you need to have that? Some people have their service panel is already completely filled. You can't add another circuit. Um, they might have an older house with a, a small service panel, 100 amps or 150 amps, and they can't add a dedicated 40 or 60 amp circuit. They just don't have the capacity. Now you need to get a service upgrade just to install a circuit like this. Service upgrades are very expensive. They can be $2,000, they could be five or $6,000. So, you know, you just got your electric car, you're psyched about home charging, and now the electrician comes in and says, oh yeah, it's gonna be about five grand to put in a new, uh, uh, new service to run the lines. We got a permit, we got to inspect, we got to, you know, do all this, and it's gonna be really expensive. So for, for, for many people, they might say, well, is there any way I can utilize what I have? And the split bolt allows you to, provided the um, location of the existing uh, dryer outlet that you have, or there could be a, an outlet in your garage that the previous owner used for welding or, or, or you know, for, for a number of uses that's, that's being used for another appliance, you could share that circuit. Uh, this will allow you to forego any installation expense. The only thing you have to do is buy it, plug it in, and get a charger plug in the, the dr dryer or whatever is being used for. Some people have electric ranges. Um, they're typically not located too close to the garage, but in some cir circumstances they are. You could use it with that. Um, this is very easy to mount. There's four screws. You don't even have to mount it. You can even just let it sit on top of your dryer if that's what you're uh, sharing this with. So you don't even have to mount it. But if you do the four screws on the back, mount on a wall very easily. It's only weighs about eight pounds. So it's, it's not like you need to have all kind of really heavy duty anchors in the wall. Um, and you just plug it in and turn it on. Um, you, the, with the overcurrent protection here, it comes off. So when you do get it and plug it in, make sure you flip that on. I'm gonna do a test now and see if that overcurrent protection works. I'm gonna plug in my Model 3 and have it set to draw the full amount that it can draw, which is 48 amps. The, sp the split bolt can only deliver 24 amps because it's based on um, utilizing a 30 amp dryer circuit. 
So it should pretty quickly trip that switch if it works. So the internal circuit breaker did shut off, but not until the Model 3 was drawing over 40 amps of power. I think that's probably because the Model 3 ramped up its power draw really quickly, and it took the split volt maybe 5 or 10 seconds to realize it was drawing too much current before the breaker tripped. Now, that wouldn't be a problem because in such a short period of time, that wouldn't cause any wiring or overheating issues in just a matter of seconds. Splitvolt also sells EV charging equipment that you can pair with the Splitvolt circuit splitter. Now you don't need to use their equipment. You can use any EV charger provided you match the plug on the charger with the receptacle that you ordered on your Splitvolt. The Splitvolt comes with a variety of different plug configurations. So make sure that number one, you choose the right dryer plug based on which plug your dryer has, and number two, which uh, receptacle that your EV charger will plug into. Now, if you don't have any charging equipment and you order it all from Splitvolt, that's an easy thing to do because you go to the website and you just make sure that you get one that's configured with the right plug for your Splitvolt splitter. Splitvolt offers three different portable chargers. They all come in a nice handy carrying case. Now that's because this is a plug-in unit, so you can use it at different locations if you have the need to. They all have a really thick cable, and the connector has a nice rubberized plug that protects the pins when it's not in use. The body of the unit is not large and not heavy, making it easy to carry around. Splitvolt offers their chargers in three different plug configurations. So you have to make sure to match the configuration on your split volt circuit splitter. They have a NEMA 1030 plug and a NEMA 1430 plug, both of which can deliver 24 amps for the vehicle. Those chargers cost $299. But they also offer one with a NEMA 1450 plug, which can deliver up to 40 amps to the vehicle. And that unit costs $349.99. Now, if you do buy this unit, you have to make sure, as we said earlier, that you dial back the uh, amperage that your electric vehicle accepts because you don't want to exceed the 24 amp limit that the split volt circuit splitter is capable of delivering. One of the features I really like on the split volt is the bright digital display it has. As you could see in the lower left hand corner it's showing 242 volts that's the line voltage that the split volt is currently on in my house now next to that is uh 23.45 amps that's the current draw that the vehicle is taking from the split volt right above it is 8.46 that's the cumulative kilowatt hour that the split volt has delivered over its lifetime. Now, I just got this unit, so it's only delivered eight kilowatt hour, but that's very useful so people can see over time how much energy their car has taken in. And above it, you'll see in watts, that's the current um, watts that are being delivered to the vehicle, 5,645, which is basically 5.6 kilowatt. Uh, which is what most people talk about with electric vehicle draws is the amperage and the kilowatt draw. This is 5.6 kilowatt being delivered to the vehicle now. Before we wrap things up here, let's take a quick look at a typical split volt installation using a dryer outlet. Start by plugging in and turning on power to the split volt splitter switch. It includes real-time power status display and monitoring. Then, plug in the charger handle to the vehicle. EV charging begins automatically. The charging rate increases gradually until it is charging the EV with full 24 amp power. When the dryer starts, EV charging is automatically switched off until the dryer is no longer in use. When the dryer completes its cycle or is turned off, EV charging automatically resumes. 
The split vault comes with a three foot pigtail, which is important because sometimes you might have to reach down low behind your electric dryer. It's also important because these NEMA outlets don't have a standard orientation. Sometimes they're installed with the ground down, sometimes with the ground up. So in this since instance here, you can see the outlet isn't like this. Some outlets might have it like this. Now, you wouldn't be using an adapter like here. You would order your split vault with a plug that matches the existing plug that your electric dryer uses. I only had to use this adapter because these outlets that I have here in the garage are very high powered 50 and 60 amp circuits for my electric car chargers. The split volt will be typically installed on a 30 amp circuit, which is what electric dryers are on. Now, yes, it will deliver a little bit less power than what some of the other higher powered EV chargers are, but you're going to be saving a lot of money and you don't have to go through the hassle of calling an electrician, pulling permits, you know, spending the money on an extra circuit. And like I said, um, perhaps even a service upgrade. Now the split vault comes with a one year manufacturer's warranty and is available from the split vault website for $319. If you are interested in the 24 amp uh, chargers that I demonstrated before that split vault also sells, they're available on the website for $299. Just like the split vault, they come with different plug configurations. So it's really important that you match your split vault and your portable charger with the proper NEMA plug configuration. That's it for today. Don't forget, click that subscribe button, tap the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos coming up here on State of Charge. Thanks for watching.